Hey there everybody, it's Richie here to show you the latest smartphone from the uh, HTC company called the One M9. Now let's check it out. Okay, well if you're familiar with the HTC One M8, then this is gonna look uh, quite familiar to you. As you can see, it still has the uh, very distinct speaker grills on the top and the bottom. The speakers have probably in increased uh, in loudness, but also it's retained its clarity as well. And as you can see here, it's got the, uh, self, uh, the selfie camera over here. Now that's been replaced uh, with the ultra pixel camera. On the back now, we now have a traditional sensor here. We've gone from the four megapixel duo camera to a 20 megapixel camera. I'm gonna show you some samples of shots of that very shortly. But first, let's have a look actually around the unit. Again, not much different to the one M8. There is a two-tone color here. This one's actually got a kind of rose color to it. Uh, one major change, if you wanna call it major, is the power button is now on the left-hand side. Uh, and then you've got the volume toggles and the micro SD card over here. If we turn it around, uh, we've got the nano SIM card slot there. And on the bottom, we've got the uh, charging port for the micro USB and also the headphone jack. Uh, but of course, one of the big things for HTC is the inclusion of Lollipop out of the box. And uh, you know, one of the great things, of course, is customization. So the, there's actually quite easy ways to change your so-called theme. So we just press down. You see here, there's a few options that come up. We can change or edit the theme. And as you can see here, there are plenty to choose from. And very easy, all you've got to do is just press that and we can actually move across into a different theme. You could download that one right away and start using it. Uh, so it really does let you personalize it uh, quite a bit, which obviously is a big thing for Lollipop, that customization and Android per se with widgets and all the rest. But look, let's look at photos because I know that's a that's going to be a big one because we've moved away from the four megapixel back camera to a twenty megapixel. So here's some photos that I took in the park today, and I'm going to show you these a little bit of light flare. I did that deliberately, uh, but it seemed to handle the mixture of that sunset coming through along with the detail of the trees uh, quite nicely. There's a, a picture of Rocket, our little dog. Uh, quite a bit of detail there. Uh, but still a nice, quite a nice photo. Now, here's where we start to look a bit of, bit of uh, exposure settings. So I took this photo first, and then I just simply tilted it up. As you can see, the exposure compensated by um, you know, focusing more on the sky. When I touched this area live, we got this photo here. So you could see that there's a bit more uh, detail coming through um, in the shaded area. Uh, here's an example of the kind of blurred background. Now, I didn't actually have to do any settings. It just actually worked nicely. There's a quick freeze frame. As you can see, I threw the ball, took a picture, uh, and that picture came up right away, which is quite nice too. So here's another example of exposure. So we just tilted up, got a bit darker, darker again. Um, but then after touching that area right there, we were then able to get um, a bit more balanced shot. So overall, not a bad camera. I've got to say, I really did like the Duo camera last year. And I did like it in the um, in the lower light scenarios as well. So that's the photo side of things. Definitely the area that I was very curious to see how it would perform. I still did like the uh, duo camera with the ultra pixel at the back, particularly in low light. But really from the M8 to the M9, uh, a few tweaks to improve this unit. Now, if you've got an M8 now, you're probably not going to be losing out by not upgrading. But if you're looking to move into a premium phone, uh, this is definitely one for you to consider. So that's uh, from me, uh, the One M9 from HTC. We'll be checking out some more new releases very soon. Until next time.